Remember the good old days where you were just able to relax on the front porch with a nice paperback copy of the Da Vinci Code? Or the times you and your little snuggle butt flipped through the pages of the virtue of selfishness together? Ha 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 ha, okay grandpa. I didn't know my grandpa was watching this video. I didn't know that my decrepit, disgusting, 85-year-old cretin of a grandfather was watching this video. I hate you. I haven't forgotten. Nowadays, if you're not reading on a screen, you're a shit. We here at Veek love reading. We are intellectuals after all, but the best way to experience a book is through a video game. Books may ignite your imagination, but video games bring your imagination to life on a screen and limit it to inputs on a controller. Too much thinking is a dangerous thing, so it's a godsend that video game developers have adapted some of our favorite books for us. Here's the Video Entertainment Analysis Group's Top 5 Games Based on Books. Uh, number 5, The Bourne Conspiracy. Jason Bourne is the world's greatest assassin, and it's no surprise that one of the greatest game of all time tells his story. Originally written by Robert Ludlum, the Bourne series is one of those timeless tales of a cool white guy fighting people who control the government. The government is bad. Jeremy Renner may have flawlessly portrayed Bourne in the movies, but nothing can top the visceral action and sexy spy ambiance of the Bourne conspiracy. There's nothing quite like living out your secret phase. <laughs> There's nothing quite like living out your secret agent fantasies in video game form. The excitement of this game never ends. James Bond, eat your heart out. Number four, from Russia with love. <laughs> Jason Bourne, eat your heart out. Bond is back and better than ever in the video game adaptation of From Russia with Love. FRWL was Ian Fleming's fifth novel in the 007 series, and the movie of the same name goes down in history as one of the best Bond films ever made. While all of this may be true, we here at Vig think the best interpretation of the title is the video game, specifically the PlayStation 2 version. There's nothing quite like living out your secret age of fantasies in video game form. Yes, the movies are exciting, and the books may be written with the eloquence of a waxed vagina, but being in control of Bond, feeling what he feels, thinking what he's thinking, now that is something worth reading. Unlike the boring, technical monologues of the Bourne series. The Bourne series is terrible. Number three, The Da Vinci Code. When we think of Leonardo Da Vinci, most of us think of the uh, lovable Mexican character who built you things in Assassin's Creed 2. However, Leonardo da Vinci was really the man responsible for the 9-11 attacks back in the early 2000s. Dan Brown's book proved, proved that if you, look, <laughs> if you look at the Mona Lisa a certain way, you'll see the burning twin towers. This was a sign of things to come, but nobody knew what it meant until it was too late. Sorry. The video game delves further into the concepts of the book and allows you to fight and kill people too. Just just so it's fun. It's an important piece of American literature made more accessible thanks to the interactive technology of video games. Don't text me right now! God fuck! Uh, number two. I have no mouth. Don't I know scurry? I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream is a short sci-fi adventure by Harlan Ellison that follows the journey of a group of misfits trapped in a computer program with an evil computer overlord named Am. Am has grown tired of being bullied by humans his whole life, so he gets a little payback by artificially saving their minds as data in an artificial purgatory where he's able to torture and kill them time and time again. The video game adaptation has been regarded as one of the creepiest games out there, because instead of having complete control over your character, you have to click on where you want to go and who you want to talk to. It's really unsettling not being able to jump and kick your way around through the game, and it also reminds me of The Matrix kinda, so that's why it's on the upper half of our list. Number 1 The Hobbit 
George R. R. Martin has created a masterpiece with the Song of Ice and Fire series, but none of it would have been possible without The Hobbit. The Hobbit is the prequel to the Game of Thrones series, and you can definitely tell that this was the tale that started it all. Wizards, warriors, trolls, and goblins, they're all there trying to run around and save the kingdom from the evil black devil's eye. What makes the video game adaptation of this classic legend... Cl oh, what makes the game ad adaptation of this classic legend is, uh... I'm sure to change that there. What makes this game ad classic legend so good? Yeah, I guess that would. What makes the game adaptation of this classic legend so good is the sheer scope of the action. You feel like you're really leading the battle of the five armies, and this epitome of gaming will leave you breathless. It may not have the eroticism and sexual energy of the Witcher games, but trust us, you will not get boop. <clears throat> you will not get blue balls when playing with the Hobbit. Well, that's our list of the top 5 games based on books. Don't forget to check out vig.us for all the best and latest gaming news and previews and reviews. Now get out there and do your summer reading. <laughs> yeah, right.